Good morning. I am here for day four of the clutter challenge. And again, another weird angle because we're gonna deal with this cabinet. And if you don't know what this is, this would be our medicine cabinet. And I know that I said that we're gonna stay in the kitchen and there's a reason why ours is in the kitchen and I'm gonna tell you why here in a minute. So first off, while we we're waiting for people to come in. I just want to tell you who I am. I am Brooke Cribs, and I have the website Crib Style where I help you, I can't even talk this morning, where I help you tackle the chaos of life one um, organizing and DIY project at a time. So when you come into the live, if you could give me a thumbs up, let me know you're here, say something. Um, if you're catching this on replays, please go ahead and make a comment. I still get those. And if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share so that I can get this word out there too to the other people who don't have Facebook. So today is Monday and it's probably one of the Mondayest Mondays ever. Um, hi mom. Uh, so like I said before, if you've been following along or if you, you know, if you know me, we have a, a dog that dislocated her hip. And so the past couple nights have been very challenging. Um, it's almost like having an infant. So I'm going on very little sleep. And then one of our other dogs decided that she was going to get sick on our carpet. So it's, it's been a Monday, but you know what? I'm here, you're here, and we're going to tackle some stuff. So like I said, the space we're going to do is um, our medicine cabinet and we're going to kind of stay in the kitchen for a few days um, just because there's some areas that I want to go through and show you some ideas about. Um, the reason why we keep our medicine cabinet in the kitchen is for a number of reasons. One, it's actually bad to keep your medicines in the bathroom. I know typically a lot of people have medicine cabinets in their bathroom, but the temperature changes and the heat and humidity from taking your showers or baths or whatever the case may be can actually destroy your medicines. So it's better to keep them out of a space that's going to get a lot of moisture, a lot of heat, a lot of temperature fluctuations. So we just keep everything in the kitchen. Another good reason is if you keep your medicine if you keep a medicine cabinet in your bathroom and it happens to be a bathroom where you have little ones, you don't want them to get into it. Also, um, if it's a place where you have guests come in and you have medications that nobody should be getting into, it's just good to keep them out of the reach. That way they're in the kitchen, um, you can closely monitor what's going on and if somebody needs something, um, they can let you know as opposed to helping themselves. So we've actually done this for quite some time. It's worked out really well. And again, when I talked about the pantry, same way with the medicine cabinet, things are in its space based on need and who has access to it. Um, my girls are getting older, so they know to ask for things now. Uh, but I also wanna make sure that when they were younger, that if they did climb up on a chair, which I still have to do because I'm vertically challenged, um, that they don't get into anything that could be potentially dangerous. And then if there are things that are um, really dangerous, you wanna make sure that you put them in a different location um, that your kids definitely don't have access to. For example, the cabinet above like your refrigerator um, or even your microwave, but even that you have to be careful of the temperature fluctuations. So I'm gonna go over some things that we keep in our medicine cabinet. Um, it's good periodically to go through and check the expiration dates on things, um, especially if it's been a few months since you've seen some things, same with like uh, pain medications and that sort of thing. So on the first shelf, um, you'll see it, it looks like a bit of a hot mess. And like I said yesterday, organizing is just like any other thing you do when you clean your house or you tend to your garden. You want to make sure that you periodically go through and kind of spruce it up. And so that's what we're going to do with this. So on this first shelf are all the things that we need daily. So it's all the kids' daily medications. It's mostly Courtney's daily medications because I don't take anything daily that I need to have in here. Um, and then there are, of course, Band-Aids. And for our band-aids, we actually keep, I labeled it, boo-boo box. It's an old wiper container. So when the girls were little, this is what we kept the, wipe, the wipes in. So now we just keep the band-aids in it, um, as well as some little healing sticks and some um, different itch relief gels that the girls can use and neosporins. So um, I like to check this periodically because I have still have one who likes to use band-aids a lot and we want to make sure we have good band-aids on hand at all times um, we also keep aquaphor because this is a really good um, healing ointment um, there's some things that i've had uh, done to my face where i've had to have this and this is actually really good um, a little bit better than vaseline so we have this on hand 
We don't use this every day, but it's on the everyday shelf because somebody didn't put it back where it needs to go. So I'll make sure I put it back. Um, the other thing is I like to wash these um, caps with some warm water and soap. I can tell this one has not been washed, so I will wash this. Whenever you have anybody that's sick, I mean, it's always good to wash it out anyway. I know we always reuse our, our caps and that's perfectly fine. Just warm soapy water, wash them out. Um, and here's another one, see what I mean? All right, so I have an older child who is, she has her own nasal medicine she has to take, but we also have her deodorant in here because I wanna make sure she uses it every day. We had a problem where she didn't, and so we, in the mornings, will set it out along with their, their gummy vitamins, and that way we know that they've taken their medicines before they leave for school. These are my favorite containers. Um, I got these at the container store. I like them because they have a handle so I can very easily stick them in and grab them. What I also did, and I don't know if you can see it, I marked it daily. So we know that these are the daily medications that my husband uses. Um, some of these, like I said, can also be moved. At one point, we were nursing a bit of a cold so we needed to have some zinc and some throat lozenges. So again, those can be moved to the other areas um, and all the things that he needs. And I can hear that three ibuprofen are not gonna do anybody any good. So let me go get my list. And I'll add that to the list. And we do like to keep these in the dailies um, only because you'd be surprised how often you have a headache or an ache in general. And then found another cap that needs to be washed. And another one. So clearly, we're not winning any, any uh, cleanliness awards in this family right now. Um, but we do wash them if next time we go to use them. I have not taught my girls how to swallow pills. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to make that happen, I would greatly appreciate it because that's an area that I'm scared to death of. We tried it, it didn't work. So we still use the liquid um, pain reliever for the girls. But that needs to change sometime soon. And then of course, they um, this is like a Miralax solution that we use daily. Just like with anything else, you want to make sure that you clean it out because there's no point in putting anything back if it's not clean. And I'm using the Mrs. Myers brand. And then this is just another bigger first aid kit that we have with some bigger gauze pads and things like that. just kid medications that we've accumulated um, over the last few months and again these handy baskets handled the handle baskets from the container store I mark them kids so when you're looking up in the cabinet um, you can easily see this is the kids that's the daily without having to figure out where the different um, medications are so we know that the, the kids have something <coughs> excuse me, a little more severe. We grab these are the kids appropriate medication. <coughs> and I will tell you, I've already gone through this one recently. So we keep the thermometer. <coughs> excuse me. Because it's mostly where we, where they're the ones that are going to use it the most. Um, as well as the little ear things so that when we use it, we have that in there. So, and 
then for our fur children, they have their own as well. So we know everything in this little box is for the puppies. So their heart guard and next guard and some wipes and their brush and all that. We like to keep that in the same area. This is also for... And then the one that's up a little bit higher, that's adult only medication. And we again, we keep it up higher just because it's stuff that we don't want the girls getting into, a little bit stronger medications. And then this bigger container is um, all of the bandages and ACE wraps and that sort of stuff. So things that we don't use all the time, but it's always good to have. Um, these were extra EpiPens for Kennedy when she had her shrimp allergy, which she thankfully doesn't have anymore. Um, but again, so just like the pantry, we organize the medicine cabinet or the medicine area the same way. So I guess we need to put this up here. Clearly we've had problems with some uh, allergies lately. And then these the zinc, the halls, I like to keep them easy access for everybody, but it's, it's not something that we use every day. These are for the girls. And then the tons. So, and then the very, very top shelf um, we use for light bulbs. So, um, just a place that, because I, I typically don't use the top shelf of, our, um, of any of the cabinets, and I just needed a place to put the light bulbs. So, as you can see, again, we keep our medicine cabinet in the kitchen, um, basically just so we can make sure that nobody gets in it, that they're not supposed to, um, that they are protected from the heat and the moisture that, unlike keeping them in the bathroom, and it's an area that, um, it's a central location that I can monitor so that the girls or anybody else can't get into our medicines without us knowing. So. And just like the pantry, I organize it based on daily, um, the kids, not daily, but, you know, stuff that they may need more frequently, and then the things that we don't use all the time, and then some of the adult medications that I don't want the girls getting into. So, does anybody have any questions? I'm, I know this one is actually really short and sweet because... One, it didn't take me that long. We just kind of rearranged some stuff that we've been using. Um, the other thing is I've got to clean the carpet, so I don't want to take too long. So I appreciate you guys coming in today, and I will see you for day five tomorrow. Take care.